everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm your host, Sirius Brightstar, and on today's stream, we'll be playing Dead Space. I, uh... I ate part of a gummy about an hour ago. Uh, mostly because I forgot I was streaming tonight. So, buckle up. For that. How? Are you guys? I am pretty good. Uh, today. Uh, today went by. Uh, pretty quick. In a good way. Uh, work went by very quick. Uh. Didn't feel like I was there for long. Got uh, a lot of stuff done. Uh, had a nice lunch with my partner and a friend of ours that I haven't seen in years. Uh, and that we hadn't seen for quite some time until uh, my partner Mana started hanging out with them again here recently uh, seeing movies and things of such nature and the three of us had lunch today because the movie conveniently got out at the same time that I got off work uh, also apologies for uh, if there's a lot of sniffling and uh, nose noises, uh, my allergies have really been acting up today. Uh, and it sucks because I feel more nasally than I do most other times as well. Um... <sighs> Tonight's going to be fun. Tonight is going to be fun and interesting. I'm excited for it. I need... I need to fix this shit up. What sort of... Terrible fucking streaming background is this for you guys. Like. My flag is cool. No one's brought that up yet. <laughs> but we just kind of got this mess up here. Um, most of it's actually <laughs> for something that's like super major in my life that I like still have not yet to bring up on stream I don't believe uh, my wife and I run a small business uh, uh, called Bright Stars Menagerie of Mysticisms um, uh, we and when I say small business like we don't even we're not like even registered as like an LLC or anything uh, by a small business I mean she makes uh resin products uh and i associate myself with that <laughs> uh it's just it's just on the weekends and i work weekends um we we have a uh, a fairly decently sized booth at a local vendor mall uh which is kind of like a flea market except all of the time well 
except open every week. Uh, but the one that we're at is still like it's only on the weekends. It's Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um. Uh, so yeah, so they make uh, resin products, and like we have other uh, a couple other things, and and some stuff that I do help with, uh, and I handle a lot of our like actual business side of things, and like the tech side of things, uh, and the social media and all that stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I run a, uh, I help run a small business, um, and so the the name of this channel and my name on here, Sirius Bright Star, uh, comes from that. Um, they basically, um. I think I kind of touched I've I've touched on this a couple times in in a few streams but um Sirius and Mana Bright Star are our uh pagan names um and I just think they sound cool uh we we really liked them we you know it took us some good soul searching to to you know decide on our individual names uh you know, as well as a, a kind of shared, you know, family last name. Um, why the fuck was I saying any of this? Oh, yeah. So when we decided to, to start this business, uh, you know, her and I are, are huge roleplay fans. Like, we love Dungeons & Dragons. You know, I'm writing a... Uh, tabletop role-playing game uh we met larping i proposed at the larp uh where we met and actually like made it like part of the event and everything it was very cool so we're into role-playing and so we were like well for this business like it, i don't want it to just be like oh it's just us and we make these things like i want it to be like a you know kind of D D esque like, I want it to have a story, I want us to have personas, I want, you know, I just don't want this to be, like, you know, Sean and Mana's arts, you know, like, I want it to be, like, a cool thing, I want it to be like we are, like, merchants in this, like, fantasy world. Um, and so we used those names to create these, like, personas slash, you know, characters for this, and basically the story of our business is, is just that, is, is that, uh, uh, these characters of Sirius and Mana are uh, trampsers throughout the multiverse. And um, basically the products we sell are shit that we just find on our travels and are, you know, trying to make money off of it. Um, sometimes they are given to us. Uh, sometimes they are found. Sometimes they are taken. <laughs> um... I haven't gotten to it yet, like I need to, but uh, none of this is apparent <laughs> at all through anything we do with our business. Like we don't, we, we don't act or role play or anything while we're like at the booth or or anything like that. And uh, the one thing I meant to do, which was like on our website, you know, like actually, you know, put the story in there with these breadcrumbs and you know each of these items basically describing like, how we came across them and things like that. Um, but I just haven't done it yet. Uh, speaking of, Mana. They're here. Good. Yes. Here you go. Love you. I love them so much. Well, did you guys watch the Creator Clash? Holy fuck. So that's why I didn't stream yesterday. Um, that's why I'm streaming today, because I bought the virtual ticket for it. Um, man, it would have been great if I could have been there, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, man, wow, wow, wow. Like... Uh, 
it's just the fact like knowing these guys are con like they're content that like they're youtubers they're twitch streamers and they had four to six months to to get into a relative shape for a fucking boxing match and every single one of them did like yeah you could for sure tell that like this was literally you know the first time these people like hit somebody else like they're you know it's it's clear that they were you know all pretty much all of them were no experience to six months of experience to broadcast um but like the knowing what it all is like holy shit every single one there besides matt was so good <laughs> i joke like i Oh, oh Mary Mother of God. Uh here's the thing about the Matt and Dad fight, okay? I love Matt Watson. He's I love the content they put out. Uh I'm yeah, huge fan of Super Mega. Loved their tenure as the uh editors on Game Grumps. And Markiplier. Um, uh, I, I love his humor. I love his music. I listen to his album, Ouch, all the time. And I'm super excited for uh, the new stuff that he's cooking up. Um, I was really rooting for him in that fight. But... And this isn't me... Uh, like getting to the point that like I'm disappointed in him or or anything like that that isn't that or or that I'm mad at him or like like oh, I like him a little less now because he lost that fight no 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 it's nothing to do with that it's that I really do feel like he could have at least had a better match if he had gone in with any self confidence. Um, I, d I didn't feel it, buddy. Like, because, like, you know, leading up to it, you know, all of the, the, the japes and the, and the jabs and the, you know, the jokes and everything, you know, on, on Twitter and, um, you know, like the little video they made and everything like that, you know, all the back and forth, um, you know, it, it was that, you know, arrogance and everything. But I know, like, that's your guys' humor. Like, I knew that was a joke. I knew it was real when you would say stuff, you know, like on the podcast or in videos where, where you know, he would be like, man, no, like, I, I know I'm not going, I'm not, I'm not going to win. Like, I'm not going to win this. I'm not going to go in there and win. And it was always like, man, I knew you were being genuine. And it was just like, I, do I think Matt would have won regardless probably not dad was just dad was just a fucking beast um but i think he would have at least had a better longer fight if he had had any sort of confidence in, in himself to even like attempt to fight back and again i'm i'm just some like who am i you know i'm just some dude yelling into the internet um what oh hi winter um, you know, I, I haven't done anything close to what any of those guys did. I'm not going to pretend to say that I like, oh, I know I would have done differently if I was, you know, put in his position. And I'm sure he did try as best as he could. Um, but I still feel like maybe a little more self-confidence would have helped a little bit. Come here, baby. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello, my sweetie. This is Winter. You've been on the stream before, Winter. Got anything to say? I've been teaching her Danish. Welcome to the stream. We're going to be playing Dead Space tonight. I uh, haven't done it in like a month or two. Which is, at this point, even crazy to say that about stream. 
that something could have been done a month or two ago. That's crazy. You know, I know, obviously, you know, many more streamers have been streaming longer than me. Uh, you know, years, years and, uh, but I mean, hey, they, they were only streaming for two months at some point too, you know? Who knows how long I'll be doing this. I hope, you know, I, I hope for a long time. I hope, uh, I hope it keeps up. I hope I can keep up. I hope I continue to be entertaining for that long. Oh my god, I have to play a video game. <laughs> what, honey? She's so cute. She keeps... She's usually not like this. She she can be affectionate, but usually not this attention-seeking. She was just sitting there, and obviously I wasn't touching her. <laughs> like, hey. I see you, baby. They don't, but I see you. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose we get in it. <laughs> oh, right. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. We here. Uh, oh, right. I need to be able to hear things in this horror game, which is fantastic. No. Ooh, instantly flies in my ear. That's... that's fantastic. Now I have to remember how to play this game. Did I turn my phone off? Yes. Alright. Oh, right, I'm using it. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. The codes are on the captain's body. Got it! Those probably aren't good noises. Oh, they all sound like very bad noises. Yeah, watch it up, up man. There shouldn't be blowed. I remember the button. Yes. Well, I suppose I should go. This. Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can do this today, guys.
Why do I have no health things? in my ears and I don't like it. Oh, where's the thing to pick up? Ah. Oh, there you are. How are you doing over here, buddy? I saw that they're coming out with an HD remake of this game next year. Oh, don't like that. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Nope. My name is Eileen Fisk. I Hello. just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Acting! <laughs> um... Hello? Well, why'd you do that, stupid? <laughs> oh, yay. I need to reflect on my capabilities for a moment. Um, I may have made a mistake. And for that, I apologize. I think. I think I'm gonna save Dead Space for a uh, another time uh, in which I have both a log 
larger audience and the capability to play a game <coughs> much less a horror war game but I would feel kind of shitty only streaming for half an hour and then leaving so I think I'm going to watch that's what I'll do. <laughs> We're going to watch slash play Markiplier in space. Uh, part two. Because I still haven't... Uh, I haven't done that yet. Uh, we did... I watched part one... Um, on... Uh, we did that for a stream. Um, and not completely. I, I still did other... Uh, other parts of it on my own time. Uh, all right, so here's the first thing of part two. Uh, we we got a couple endings while we were on stream, but not uh, not many. No, no, no. Oh boy. Uh, wow, what a bad fucking angle for me. Sorry, guys, I'm setting shit up. I'm trying to make it, uh. Basically, because I, I can't full screen it, um. You know, while I'm watching it, because one, it just keeps going to a different video, but then I won't be able to see chat. Um. Okay, hold on. I need a little bit of color. Oh, right, it just goes away anyways. How about there? Uh, this is the difficult part. I think the top of it is only about there. Then we move this up. You guys are seeing a little behind the scenes, huh? Look at you guys, exquisite experience in the world with me wow There will be, I guess, a very small part at the bottom, kind of cut off for you guys, but uh, okay. Here we go. Flyer in space. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say that filming this along with that other project was 
probably why Markiplier wasn't in the Creator Clash. That's not me, that's the actual video, guys. It's supposed to be happening. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. solved with explosives and speaking of explosives oh. do you think she had the right idea captain did she give up or did she move on oh I suppose, I suppose. <laughs> Excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. <laughs> Captain, why does it seem familiar? And so our intrepid captain falls headlong into the spiraling chaos of dimensional calamity, heralding the beginning of the end. My goodness, what an adventure. I swear, this story never ceases to amaze me. By the way, it's good to see you again. Or for the first time, depending on your past choices. Either way, I'm sure we'll meet again for the first time in the very near future and or somewhat distant past. Should this not prove to be the end of all reality, which it almost certainly is, it would be my great pleasure to guide you through my own universe, should the opportunity arise. Which doesn't seem likely to happen at this juncture, but when thinking in infinites, unlikely is just certainty waiting for its turn. What's wrong, sport? Oh, bless my stars. Was it the nightmare about the spaceship again? <laughs> that one just keeps coming back, doesn't it? Well, I know just the thing that's gonna cure that. Another story. All right. Well, this is GTA character. Maybe a little too grizzly. Uh, read that one too many times. Nah, not in the mood. Uh, not today. Why don't you decide, huh? You could read uh, a nice romance story. That'd be fun. Or uh, a horror story. I know how much you love scary stories, but it might give you a few more nightmares, so you could go romance. It'll be a little silly and Oh, more we're than doing sappy, horror, might... baby. All right. I was hoping you'd pick that one. Who wants to read a dumb romance? That's just gonna remind you about all of your inadequacies and mistakes and how if you just tried a little harder then maybe you would actually deserve to be loved. <laughs> Death? <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> oh, there are pictures. All right. <clears throat> Reader, beware. There is something standing directly behind you. A murder. 
murder with Markiplier. <laughs> I've seen many, many crimes in my time. I'll never get used to this. <sighs> no one ever said this job would be fun, rookie. But we gotta face it. No matter how grisly, no matter how horrible... <laughs> We gotta solve this case. <laughs> and we gotta do it by the books. So quiz time, Rook. What's our first step? You look at the body. Oh. oh. Please don't do this. I have kids. I have many, many kids. And almost all of them mean me. <laughs> oh, it never gets any easier. <sighs> but that's what makes it so fun. Every time is a new experience. Always grisly, always horrible. <gasps> oh, what, what, oh man, what are you gonna do to me? Oh, I can imagine so many different things you could potentially do to me. <laughs> As could I. As could I. <gasps> but it's your first kill. And I don't want to be greedy. So huh? why don't you take a stab at it? Huh? How am I gonna take care of our many, many children with <laughs> yeah, there. You're gonna be all right. Damn it. The cops. So Man, you're single. The cops. Will you follow? You in the adjacent room. We have you completely surrounded. Release your many, many hostages and come out with your hands up. Very, very important. <laughs> Put down the gun. For the horse. It's the dining room. All the evidence. You have to put it in the... Is that a door net? Who? How many times do I gotta tell you to stay out of my kitchen? You need to keep your knife clean. You never know when you're going to need it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey, watch it. We wouldn't want to have an accident now, would we? Thank you, darling. You sure is pretty. Anytime, sugar. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. You look at that. Seems like just this morning there was a stabbing. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, old habits. Oh, please be careful. That is my real hand. Or is it? Yeah, okay, all right, okay, it is. Oh, please come back. Thank you. Ooh, strong grip, Captain. Just like I remember. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's good to see you. I guess I, uh, I guess I owe you an apology. I was wrong. wrong about a lot of things I give up hope and you and all of this if I hadn't gone back or if I hadn't tried to stab you I... oops drop my knife uh, hey Gumber sorry about that. Uh, I don't I don't know how long that message has been up I'm sorry I missed it I'm uh, I'm tired I'm very tired I've been trying for so long to fix things. I don't think I fixed anything at all, actually. Worse yet, I think I'm the one that caused all of this. 
are you all enjoying your dinner? Is there anything I can do to make it better? <laughs> For what it's worth. Yeah, that's fair. You were an excellent captain. You never gave up on your crew. Barf. Oh, excuse me. Even once. Um. I wish I could have done the same for you. Let me catch you up real so quick, Gumber. Uh, maybe if I had gone back to the right. I time, was playing Dead Space. Maybe if I had. Uh, I tried. Ship. For like maybe ten or fifteen maybe if minutes. I didn't go back in the first place. I couldn't. Um. If I didn't go back. I, uh, I forgot I was going to stream tonight, and when I came home from work, I consumed a gummy infused with a bit of THC. Oh, Dead Space is amazing. One of my top six titles. Yeah, um, it's it's been fun. However, in the state I find myself in, it was too much <laughs> for me to handle right now. So instead of just stopping stream only like half an hour into it which i didn't want to do i figured we would catch up on in space with markiplier because i played the first bit of it a while ago on stream uh and i had yet to do part two yet which came out maybe a week or two ago. So I'm doing that now. Um, it's a fun thing to do anyways, and entertaining. Um, but I feel like it'll be great for stream, because it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure sort of thing. It's not just like a movie you watch. You get to make choices at the end of each video as to the path you take proceeding so that is what we are doing today because that's what i can fucking handle right now how are you i don't think you've met any of my pets yet one of them's in here. And I have to switch my legs. <laughs> which is a weird phrase. Here's Winter! <laughs> oh, look at her sad face. Oh, honey, why you looking so sad, huh? Why you looking sad? Don't have your sad face. Have your happy face. <laughs> oh. Dishy yeez. Uh, I'm not too bad. Thanks, man. Should be sleeping, but oh my god, she looks petrified. <laughs> Listen. This princess lives a very cushy life. And she always will. The problem is, I treat her like a princess and she knows it. <laughs> Okay, all right. You want out? Want me to let you out, honey? Right, go on. Golden pie. I have sun chips. <laughs> Whoo. I'm hanging on there, man. How do I do with this? I, uh... Are there Mexican restaurants in the UK? 
Do you guys just have like Mexican restaurants? Because <laughs> the U.S. has a lot of them, and that isn't a complaint. That isn't a complaint. There was a bug. That isn't a complaint. I love Mexican food, um, but I don't know how prevalent it is in other countries. Because uh, obviously we're we're just Mexico's hat, so it's easy for us to get it. How are you doing, though, man? Apart from visibly unsure of space and time, yeah, there's some dotted around somewhere. Dotted there, there's some dot there, doubt there, 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 there's some dotted around. So Mexican places, got it. <laughs> I might have to pick that up at some point. Uh, yeah, so anyways, it's, it's, we're doing basically like a YouTube choose your own adventure thing. Um, it's really hard to surmise the plot because, again, it's kind of a choose your own thing. But basically, there's this spaceship called the Invincible 2, uh, that, uses wormhole technology as a means of faster than light travel um but the wormhole kind of gets stuck open and caused a like recurving time loop um so much so that the universe itself had to be reset and that's where uh part two picks up which is what we're doing now If you don't know who Markiplier is and, like, don't watch his stuff, I can't help you. <laughs> it would just take too long. He's this guy. Like, this is Markiplier. So here we go. Um, okay, and there's going to be a bit of a delay, but I want to, I want your input. Should we go left or right? I can't say I've tried anything like this, but knowing my skill, I would lead the characters to an untimely demise. <laughs> we'll see. Also, let me know if me... Eating these chips is like, if I need to like push the mic away or not, I don't know if it's picking it up or not. I will. So left or right? I, my instinct was to choose left. Well, I want to see what you say. Oh. You couldn't even see what the fuck I was talking about. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to pull it back up. You say right? Okay, we'll go right. Where in the world is Mark? Raise your arms. Oh. 
<laughs> All clear. Bonjour. Have a nice day. Sir, we've got every single possible agent on this already. There's no way we can add more. I men. don't want excuses. I want results. <laughs> Get too old for this shit. Well, I'll be damned. They actually managed to pull you out of retirement. Then again, if anyone would have wanted to catch this snake, it would be you. Just don't make this personal. Now, I bet you're wondering how he managed to escape from prison, huh? Yeah, you and me both, pal. Pull it up on the main screen. <laughs> Mark E. Plyer. Hey, you never thought you'd have to see his ugly mug again. A few hours ago, this maniac somehow managed to break out of the most secure prison the world had ever seen. Next slide, please. <laughs> somehow, the entire <laughs> eastern block of the building vanished into thin air in an instant. Now, the Mr. E. Pliers learned some magic, but he has some crazy tech up his sleeve the likes of which we've never seen. It's almost as if he has a, a goddamn wormhole in his pocket. And we know he's still alive because he's used this same crazy tech to hit three museums already. We don't know where he is. We don't know where he's gonna be. We don't even know what kind of firepower we're up against. <sighs> Could I get a coffee? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we don't know. But I think you do. I can already see a plan cooking up in that big, beautiful brain of yours. Oh, thank so you. I respect you so goddamn much. What is it? What's the plan? How are we gonna catch this heinous criminal? Do we tell him? He looks like Markiplier. And this is all a ruse. Or maybe Markiplier's in this room. Left, so the you look a lot like Markiplier. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I just want to be absolutely clear with what you're saying. You think that I, the director of an organization whose sole purpose is to track down Mark E. Plyer, notorious international criminal wanted in 87 different countries, is that very criminal standing directly in front of you? Is that what you really believe? <laughs> I guess you really are as good as they say. But it doesn't matter how good you are. It's too late. Not so fast, Mark. Well, well. If it isn't Agent Crank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm not Agent Crank. No. No, it can't be. That's impossible. It's Wubba. And I'm taking you down. Wubba, how could you do this to me? You were like a brother to me! That's right. And you thought you were so smart infiltrating this organization, but I beat you to the punch. You think you're so clever. You think you've won? He does. But he forgot about one small important detail. That's not possible. That doesn't make any sense. That's right. You thought you were undercover, uncovering Mark's undercover operation. But little did you know that I was undercover the whole time. Triple undercover. No, no. That literally can't be. How are you, you, if I'm me? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> well, obviously. Oh. Wait. What? Right? Okay, left or right. Here's another thing to look at, too. Going left is a five minute video, and going right is a 47 second video. So, I'll let that influence you one way or the other. Right? Okay. Hello? Oh, hey. shit. Hey, Captain? I think you were actually right. Thank God it's you. I don't know how I got in here. I haven't! I know what's going on with 
of the ship. I have all the answers. The wormhole. The wormhole's causing all the problems. And, I, and if you open the door, I can tell you all the secrets of the wormhole. Hey, I got it. Figure it out. Figure it out. Captain? Why haven't you opened the door? I can't open it. You need to open it. Out to airlock opening it. Ten. Nine. Do we open the door? Or do we don't open the door? I, uh... I don't actually know. Well, okay. So if you're if you're just sticking to that pattern, then I guess it would be if we did right last time, it'd be left. So you want to open the door? Yeah, let's see what trippy-ass adventure we have. Alrighty, I'll just keep it left right then. Thank God, Captain. I knew you wouldn't let me die. Look at one! One, Captain, now! You are stupid! <laughs> Good morning, Captain. Current ship status absolutely catastrophic. Just the way we like it. <laughs> the choice gave us the doom option, I see. Nothing like the smell of gunpowder in the morning, eh, Captain? Gun, but not outmatched. Just like old times, eh, pal? Damn. These guys don't know when to quit. No, I don't. Okay. This needs to stop. And you can she was from fix part this. one. You just have to shut down the wormhole, and everyone survives. The universe survives we can all win you just have to shut it down please hey captain what are they talking about and why do they have the same cool bracelet that you do no oh. no that's impossible i just took this from you no 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 no. that's impossible that is a paradox what did you do what did you do On your left! <laughs> Please evacuate the station immediately. I repeat, universal stability compromised. This is not a drill. This is an Please office you came to last time where that lady was. Hey. So, uh, Fucking what? Quick question. Did you, uh, feed the animals? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Because they're acting like they ain't been fed. Well, they're lying sons of bitches. All right, you lying sons of bitches. Uh, 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 no, uh, no. Damn, that is not your spot. Well, now I get to annoy you. You went where you shouldn't have. D 
this bean. This bean was caught where she shouldn't be. <laughs> Bouncy bean. Can I help you? No. <laughs> Punish your daughter. That doesn't mean she sits on your lap. No, I was... Okay. Can I get something to do? What? You're a pushover when it comes to our animals. I know that! I know. I know you for it, don't. No, me too. Uh, Emily was talking to me about my doing my hair before Pride. She's doing that opal prism hair. With, like, the summer looks. Okay. Um... I'm probably going to tell her the 27th. That'll be the next time we get paid. Okay. Is that is that fine? Um, yeah, it should be. Okay, cool. Hoppa! I love them so much. Well... Lost, trying to um, stem the tide. Wait. Oh my God. You're here. You. 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 We have been looking everywhere for you, for your ship, and it was you. It was gone. In every universe. Lost. So how are you here? How? This. This thing? This? You use that, didn't you? Who gave it to you? And also, um, Big give crystal. it to me. I need it. Please. Or I will shoot. Look, if you just... If you give it to me, I swear, I promise, I can fix everything. Potential paradox detected. I am, I am, I am begging you. Please avoid... We can still fix this. Look, I... Safety I, limit exceeded. I this is intentional. N Initiating no emergency oh, of... Ah, please! Ah! Um, Gumber, we have a problem. It's not left or right. It's up and down. <laughs> what do we do here, buddy? Um, I guess if you say... I don't know. I mean, like, what, what, which would be left or right? Would the one on the bottom technically be left because it's still in the same position as it would be? We're going with, it's okay, Mark, you can cry. Or, oh, you're going to cry? Little boo-hoo? Little baby going to cry? Give it a couple seconds because I'm not actually sure if <laughs> you're even still here or not.
Um, I don't think they're here anymore. They said that. I think they said they were going to sleep. Um. Right. No. It, zero things wrong with men crying. Like, there's zero things wrong with humans crying. Like. <laughs> Bring it in, pal. It's okay, buddy. Okay, guess we're here now. Oh, okay. Bomb defusal with hard fire. Let me take a look at that, rookie. That is a beauty of a bomb. All right, no time to waste. Yeah, perfect. All right, must be pretty exciting though, right? All those years spent training and all that hard work is finally gonna pay off. And I know how much you've been looking forward to your first bomb, so I'm gonna let you take the lead on this one. <laughs> no backseat bomb diffusing from this guy. I'm not even gonna say a peep. I'm just gonna sit back, shut up, and let the master work. <laughs> yeah. Um. Boom! Oh, they're both the same yeah. length. can't go back. Why would you say I can't go back? And, uh, uh, don't say such silly things. There's a bomb cap. Captain. Oh, come on. Come back, Mark. Oh, I'm like actually emotional. Yeah, you're not here. You, you, you've never woken up here before. You were always caught. Well, I'm back now, buddy. I tried. I, I tried to keep alive, Captain. Oh, I know. And I go. And I come back. There's no problems, and I go, and I come back, and I go, and I come back, and I always come back! But this time... This time... I... Captain, what's in your hand? It's a crystal. Where did you get that crystal? You didn't shut it down, did you? Was you right about you? We trusted you! I trusted you, Captain! Maybe grab one or two of those?
<laughs> you helped them escape. You helped those monsters escape. You are just as responsible for what's going on. I don't have anything to do with that. Come on. You're the most notorious wormhole bandit in the galaxy. You gave them this, yes? Then you can tell me where they are. Even if I did have anything to do with that, I didn't bring any loss. You can't even do anything about it. In fact, I think... Do you understand what is going on out there? Do you understand what's at stake? People are dying because of this. So there is nothing, and I mean nothing, that I won't do to save the universe. So tell me where they are. Oh, we can wake up. We don't even stop, please. I tried to stop it. I swear I did, but I don't even know what they did. They don't even know that that entire universe is smashing into each other in there. I don't even know how I got out. Oh. You. Where is your shit? I don't know. Where is it? I don't know where I am half the time. Tell me. Right. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Space Theory, the show where the only <laughs> thing more infinite than the universe is Mark's ego. It was bad enough that he named the show after himself, but now just look at the number of characters that he plays in this thing. Just couldn't let anyone else share the spotlight there, eh, Markiplier? Or should I say... 
dad applier. Maybe I should say Stan the Waterman. Don't think that we didn't notice the fanny pack there, bro. <laughs> you ain't gonna slip through lore details like that on our watch. But enough about YouTube celebrities and their massive egos. We're here today to talk about one thing and one thing only. Space. So let's start off with a relatively simple subject, shall we? Wormholes, magical transportation tubes, deus ex machina, or is it simply a convenient plot device for lazy, egomaniacal writers to transition from one scene to another without having to worry about their established continuity. Or, I, I, no, oh, oh no, here we go again. Oh boy, I'm feeling a little nauseous. Oh boy, but hey, that's just a bending of time and space. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that's really good. Let's, no, we're going right again. That's a 10 minute, that's 10, it's 10 minutes. been wrecked rewrite the regrets let's leave no stone unturned boy if someone's looking through the dead space stay twitch right now and seeing this back. probably really confused just like this isn't dead space this is markiplier in space it's so cool so cool Pretty. It was very pretty, Mark. Oh, it's that timer. Okay, good. The bell still works. <laughs> oh. Captain? Oh. I was hoping you'd be back. 
It's gone real dark out there. Oh. I imagine that this is probably the end. Don't worry about not stopping me soon. I'm starting to realize that even though we have an infinite choice, every single second of our lives, there's only a handful that really, really matter. You know, what's funny? I don't know why, but I'm, uh, I'm happy. Huh? <laughs> I uh, don't know any other way to explain it. I'm content with everything. Really? Being this close to an end. Finally, an end. And seeing you again, just, I don't know. It's good. It's good. Last story. For a while there, I, uh, I felt like I was right back there again. Living every single life again and again. Never stopping. Always moving forward. But now, it's calm. It's calm. Everything has to end, Captain. It has to. It doesn't matter how tightly you hold on to things, they're still just slip right through your fingers. You always make mistakes. You have to. And that's okay. I just wish I learned that sooner. For what it's worth, I'm glad I got to share this adventure with you. supposed to be the life here or just symbolic the captain pauses for a moment taking in the emptiness of the once bustling diner pondering the lives of all those who must have passed through this place it's hard to imagine it was ever full to begin with but it was once, and that's what matters. Just like old times, eh, Captain? 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 There you are. And the only person There's that I trust is myself. Captain, where are you going? I can't give up. But, 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 Captain, but, Captain, I, I, How could the Captain do this? That's not me, Captain. That's not me. There has to be a way. Not up to you. I'm sorry. I just need more time. We trusted you. One more time. Hi, Captain. You did my head a uh, bomb kit. Sorry about that. Couldn't afford to let you make another mistake. Funny thing to say after an eternity of nothing but second chances. Don't. You don't have to keep trying anymore. There's no time anywhere. Another thing I never thought I'd say again, but I'm gonna fix the damage you caused. I had a long time to spend rebuilding this machine you broke. A long time over too many lives. But I know now that this thing does more than just make wormholes. Distance and time are the same thing from different perspectives. That's all these universes are. Just different points of view. And this machine didn't just bridge a tunnel through our universe. It was bridging all of them. And you destroyed it. I can't undo what you've done. Not here anyway. Or at least, not now. But if I could go back, if I could try again, if I could stop you before any of this even started, maybe I could save everyone. What? what the hell does that mean? What? 
Pocket sand. Strange how some days can seem so much longer than others. I bet you're wondering if you made the right choice. Well, it's like my... Like an old friend used to say. Life is ours to choose. And you have made some beautiful choices, Captain. I feel like all been because bad. if the universe were made up only of right and wrong choices, then that's not really a choice at all. And that's not really living. Is it, Captain? I don't know. I'm trying to keep Until up next right time. Now. Next time might be a lot sooner than you think. Is this decap? Well, something exploded. So maybe I didn't choose the right one. I guess we'll see. She wants to be with you. Okay. Hello, Nova. Are we just back to in space with Markiplier? <laughs> like the very beginning? Oh, we got a couple more views now. Hey, welcome, guys. Thanks for showing up. Uh, yes, I realize it is not Dead Space. Uh, I got accidentally a little too high, and Dead Space was too much for me. So. You might want to take a step back there, Captain. Yeah, I'm sorry, no, I'm staring at a lot. Huge fan. Huge fan. Been following your career for quite a while now. Invisible Tower, this is Shuttle Marmota, approaching Docking Bay 4. Closing the blast shields. Shuttle Marmota, you're cleared to dock. Yeah, copy you. <laughs> Truth be told, we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, <laughs> I know exactly where we're at. Check it out. We're gonna land in five. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> we're here early. I gotta say it's an honor. Thinking maybe uh, we could hang out or something. Go get a co coffee, but you know, beer's cool. Yay. Welcome aboard the Invincible 2, Captain. Glad to have you here. It took you long enough. But let me give you the grand tour before we embark. Okay. It's my pride and joy. My baby. Well, your baby, I guess now. But I made it. It's just the baby will always remember. 
Father. My understand. Welcome aboard, Captain and Head Engineer. Prepare for sterilization. First stop, the warp core. The heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works in order to use it. Yes, we do. And when we found it again, it passed every safety test with flying colors. It's not gonna be like last time. Oh, no. This time, the Invincible is finally gonna live up to her name. But just in case, I built in a special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. Yeah, I've, I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. And speaking of explosives, the main reactor. Turns out you pretty much need the power of a star to tear open a wormhole, so a star I built. Built like a tank, too. <laughs> He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. Next up is Cryo. Hey. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transit. Systems are working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. You do not want to be awake when the warp core hits the gas. That happened the first time I did Captain, all colonists are prepped and stable. 100,000 souls ready for a new life. Let's get them there safe. Oh, don't worry. Before they know it, they're going to wake up at the side of a brand new planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Maybe then someone might appreciate the aesthetics. Besides, what could go wrong with a crew like this? ADS a lot. is to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. Dan. Oh no, Captain, I'm falling. Catch me! <laughs> Navigation is online, Captain. Engines are looking good, Captain. Life support is but online. that's just a theory. Again! Seems fine. Everything is accounted for. We're ready to see our new home. Is that why you guys are left here? now? It's for you to say the word. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. <coughs> Warp core engaged. Wormhole opening in 30 seconds. All personnel report to your assigned crime report. Oh, it's all right, Captain. I, ooh, I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course. But just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not... Wormhole opening in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6... A software update is available. Would you like to restart to apply this update? into our journey. Coffee is en route. The current ship state is being absolutely catastrophic. really starting to Okay. 
Um, huh. Don't know how I'm gonna get all the way back there. played Valheim yet. But I don't know if it's okay single player. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Alert. like a month ago. Offline. Computer. Four. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Oh man. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hey, you're the one that wanted in here. Don't give me that shit. Uh, hello. Is anyone in here? <laughs> I see we got a couple viewers now, but uh, I haven't seen anyone in chat. Has someone tried to get a hold of me? Uh, what? Do you have to go potty? Do you have to go outside? Are you just wanting attention? That's literally it? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, ooh. Sprungy. Um. I'm gonna do one more run from part two. Romance. It'll be a little silly and more yeah, than I guess a little we'll do romance. Oh, all right. Probably for the best. We don't want you getting any more nightmares now, do we? <laughs> we haven't had Skywater for a spell. Oh, and speaking of which, <laughs> well, Skywater well hydrated, so be sure to drink up, champ. Okay. Romance. I've never read this one myself. Uh, not really one for romance, or at least. That's what your mother used to say. <laughs> right before the divorce. <laughs> but that's not important right now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I have those so, same socks. The story. Oh, they're so comfortable. An evening with Markiplier. Bonjour. Got you something. Roses. So good to see you again. I can't wait for our second date. I know that our first one got a little away from us, but this one will be so much better. We could go see a movie or ride roller coasters or pretty much whatever you want. Did someone order a right. large pizza? <laughs> Extra <laughs> pepperoni. I've got tonight. Sorry, wrong sandwich. house. We can go to the carnival and share cotton candy. And maybe even hold hands. I hear your plumbing's clogged. Mind if I, uh, inspect your pipe? I rescued this adorable <laughs> puppy from a burning tree just this morning. 
Now we're best friends. I'm writing you a prescription that you're gonna need to take several times a day. <laughs> it's my kitty! Wink. <laughs> and I adore You drink? Ready to <laughs> get wet. <laughs> Bonjour. 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 Kitty kitty! Wait for our second day. Extra heffalo. Okay, so this... We get to this point regardless. How many times do I gotta tell you to stay out of my kitchen? Would we? I guess I owe you an apology. I'm tired, Captain. I wish I could have done it. If I didn't go back. The other me, the younger me, you have to find me and... Now, who's gonna pay for this? Mm? Tell me not to use the walk car! And tell me I can't go back! Okay, which one did you tell me to do the first time? Uh... Hey, so you told me to go right, and that's... I was saying, I felt left, so... Okay. Complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently <clears throat> years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship so this still is part two, but I'm back on the ship. Catastrophic. Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. Oh, what? In space with Mac. Computer, damage report. Meteorite impact in life support. Fire detected. Systems failing. Whoa, hold on there, Captain. No need to be so hasty. Got this under control. Computer, reroute power to auxiliary life support. Activate fire Large suppression system. Collision course with ship. Brace for impact. <laughs> Our ship status is nominal. Stand back, Captain. We've trained for this. Judy, Cryo, Kai, life support. Roderick, check that navigation. Make sure the blast didn't throw us off course. Gabriel, reactor. Make sure nothing back there is in danger of going kablooey. And, Captain, I think it's time we have a little talk. Hmm? This way. Okay. I get the sense that you're not a real hands-on sort of captain, so why don't you just take a break? You know, relax. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's not like you're going to be able to help anyway. You just got on board Excuse the me. ship. You're learning all the systems. Leave everything to me. That way you don't get in the way. Trust me, nothing's going to bring down this ship when I'm in charge. And that is a Mac guarantee. It, it did seem like it. Um. I mean, it seems like this timeline's going a little better. Um. You're not, Mark, but, uh, maybe that's for the best? Let's find out, shall we? Good job, Mac. <laughs> Don't touch me. Yeah, all right, whatever. Now just go and do whatever it is that captains do. I'm in control now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And taken care of you were. Well, the ship anyway. Not you, of course. You were the captain, after all. And any calamity that befell the ship could rightfully be blamed on your poor leadership skills. Okay. But Mac didn't blame you. No, Mac was better than that. He was better at everything. He was the perfect partner to establish a thriving colony for the advancement. And he did blame you, after all. Which is only fair, as it was all your fault. Still fought for you to stay on as his personal assistant, despite your many, many failings as a leader. As his underling, you thrived, helping to build the colony into a glorious beacon of hope, okay, if cool. only in your own incompetent way. <laughs> you were sentenced to eternal servitude to make amends for oh. your heinous crimes. A mercy, according to Mac. He develops incredible new technologies that prolong your life and ensure your service towards the colony, his colony, 
will never end. A permanent example for the other colonists to look towards should they ever step out of line of the magnificent <laughs> designs of their glorious leader. Mac, eternal may he reign, has judged your many, many crimes, and in his infinite mercy <laughs> has granted you the honor of death by firing squad. The event of which will be broadcast live to the colony so that all may know the penalty that awaits those who would act against the colony of man. Right. This brought great joy to the colonists who still remember the countless deaths that were a direct result of your actions as captain. Uh oh. Many, 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 many failures leader. Let's go left. Good morning, Captain. Current ship status absolutely catastrophic. Just the way we like it. Oh. Yeah, this one again. Emergency Oh, well, now we're going with the main one, which I feel terrible about. <laughs> you gonna cry? You gonna cry, little baby? Baby gonna cry? <laughs> baby want his fucking bottle? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be a scary. Let's see a chiropractor. Ooh. Didn't like that. Man, I didn't think I clicked on the horror one. Fudashudaito. God fucking damn it, we're getting D-Who. You can't be out here! Mind you. Oh, he's gone! He's coming! I better find you and not me! What are you doing up? Who knows? That's my shovel in her! Mama! Have it to bed! Hunting by he who. No, 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 Oh, I'm gonna hide. Are you kidding me? Running's fucking stupid. <laughs> the captain's plan to hide from he who behind a berry bush seemed to be going well at first. However, the captain bizarrely started gesturing up towards the sky in a very unstealthy manner. If the captain wished to succeed, they would do well to be polite to any higher dimensional being that might happen to be watching. Otherwise, unfortunate things such as a spotlight might appear at a very inconvenient time. <laughs> That's really cool. Well, it seems to be the end for our intrepid captain. No. <laughs> Truly unfortunate. You hate to see it. Oh, no, no. I don't think a convenient escape is a very fitting end for this story. Hold on. There we go. The ominous glow in the captain's hand subsides to a normal level and does not whisk the captain away from this deathly encounter. Ooh. What? That's not... Hold on. Ahem. The ominous glow subsides and returns to normal. I said the ominous glow. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, haven't been here. Well, <laughs> isn't this a surprise? It is Dr. H.H. Mills. You may be wondering where you are and how you got here. Me too. But, as no choice is a coincidence, I believe this gives us an opportunity to chat. My name is Dr. Cecil H. H. Mills, known author of adult intellectual literature. Thank you. I'm also responsible <laughs> for writing one other thing. Is that why you came? Are you here to be served an ad for Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and the Secret of the Grand Chateau, my young adult mystery novel? 
No. No. Fine. Listen, I have copious amounts of gambling debt. <laughs> I need money, so I take whatever job I can get. In this case, it's a side gig as a narrator for this project while I wait for my young adult mystery novel for children to take off. Buy my book! But, back to the matter at hand. I still do need to buy it. I'm a very private person. I don't like to receive visitors unless they have my express written consent. So this begs the question. Okay. Down. How did you get here? No matter. Easy fix. Yes. With a sucking whoosh and a burst of blue light, the captain is whisked away. What are you doing? No, give that back. Don't look at it. That's not for your eyes. What? What are you doing? Stop! You return that to me, you cretin. If I am the count of three, I want it back. One. The captain finds Mark. The narrator suffers, 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 suffers a terrible fate. Uh, no, this is more important. Oh no, it's fine. Write whatever you want. It's infinite power. That's all. No big deal. <laughs> oh, thank you. What? No, no, you can't do you this. You need out. You can't be so ambiguous. You have to be more specific. Do you have any idea what could happen Very now? Physically concerned, and for good reason. You stupid, stupid fool! Fabric of Do you have any idea what you've done? That no. Actions have consequences. A lot of handsome men in this room. <laughs> Okay, so that still gets us here. You, you, you've never woken up here. Even if I did have anything to understand. Okay, so because last time this. I intervened, this time I'm going to sneak away. They're crazy. Their ship is so broken. Even if I could tell you where it was, there's no guarantee you show up at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. You. It's <laughs> about a gun. Oh, did I just die? Oh, I white it out. That's what Pokemon always says, right? Okay, this is new for me. Oh my god! <laughs> the captain is back! And here we are in space! How amazingly cool is that? Alright, I'll take an NSP song. from here. We are here at the scene of the crime where the perpetrator Ooh. has returned. It might it be possible that said criminal mastermind may perhaps be ready to confess their heinous crimes? What cause did you have to destroy the entire multiverse? Where did you obtain such a reckless disregard for human and unhuman life? Why did you feel the need to end the existence <laughs> of all that exists? And most importantly of all, which one of us is the real Jim? Jim oh, Jim, that's too many Jims. Jim, 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 Jim,
skills. <laughs> Gonna go left. Um, I I actually am gonna go back because we've gotten this one. Jim. <laughs> All right. Let's see, if this is something new. For us. Hello, internet. Welcome to space theory. No, we've the gotten this one too. Okay. Infinite than the universe is. Oh, I'm feeling a little nauseous. Okay, so this was the right we took last time. Like, just take the left then. Back here again? Captain? Oh, no. Cookie? Yes, look, I would like a cookie very much. Sirius wants a cookie too. Time doesn't really work the same, but oh man, it's been a while. Chill. Welcome back. Okay. Oh, well, buddy, that is so sweet, but you know your cooking will kill me. You're right. <laughs> oh, poor Wug. Anyway, I am so glad you're back. I don't know what you did, but it has been so freeing. I, opening wormholes has never been easier. I can go wherever I want, whenever I want. I've been able to. See some things that I, I thought I lost. Oh well, I guess that means you gotta go now. I know this probably isn't even real. It's <laughs> all just one big dream, but I'm just so glad we met. Uh, you're welcome. Hug, hug. What? No, you know you can't hug people. <laughs> what? Yes. <gasps> I wanted to work uh... her. <laughs> left, I don't think. 11 for. Okay, this is. No. That's not Mark. Oh, is that lady? I spent all of this time trying to find you. And it's you that finds me. No. <laughs> You did it on purpose. Oh. And that if, if I could have just stopped you. And I, I wonder what would have happened if I didn't choose to follow you down that wormhole. Little, little 
wheel. He loves that. Running forward. Never moving anywhere. Like me. Like you. Everything. So. Sorry, I really thought I was dying. I really did. Because it felt like a really like, poetic moment, you know? Like, oh, like the Fuck. Earth movies, um, where, where they, they go to <laughs> die and they're just like... <sighs> you know? But that didn't... That didn't happen. No worries, I'll probably pass soon, because my wounds are pretty severe. But my people are also notoriously tough to kill, like super tough. Like you chop off all our limbs and we just keep going and going. And like my uncle Bob, all that stuff is a kneecap and a jar. He is happy. Is that supposed to be? Probably not. Here we go. Get this before? Oh, yeah, this is the diner. I don't know. It's calm. This whole thing. Okay, so last time. Didn't mean to, but. Last time we let him go, and that. Pretty much ended it immediately. So don't let him go. I have to stop you! I have to please, please, go! Captain! Please! Nope. Holding on. Please, I've seen the other side, go. buddy. I know I can fix everything. I know there's a perfect solution. I just have to find it. Please! Captain! Captain, no! things and it's gone i spent an eternity in hell rebuilding this stupid machine and you threw it all away i don't know if you're evil or just stupid but if i'm not back there to fix it if i'm not back there if i'm not back then the whole core is not back Yeah, I thought I rebuilt it because you destroyed it. Yes. I built the warp core. I sent it back. Yeah. I, I built it. I built it. It was my fault. Oh, buddy. <laughs> God, Mark is such a good actor. Um, Captain, I'm tired. I don't know when the last time I slept was. I don't know if I've slept at all. Have you? I'm 
really sorry. Yes. I thought the only way to stop this was to stop you. Stop all this from happening in the first place. Okay, you're not alone in that. But it was me. It was me. All those mistakes, all those lifetimes, all the people. I guess I lost hope. Yeah, I get it. But you didn't. You never did. Explosion or a bad explosion? Did everything fix itself? Software update complete. Initializing wakey wakey protocol. Current ship status is nominal. Whoa, what? Oh. Morning, Captain. Ooh, you look like you've been through hell. Yeah, cryo sleep sucks, but coffee can help. Morning, Cap. I'll be heading down with the advance team. If there's any horrible aliens down there, I'll take care of them. Not everything can be solved with explosions. Uh. Not in my experience. I'll see you on the ground, Cap. You and Mark are one in the same. Captain, all colonists are safe, healthy, and accounted for, but I'll keep my eye on them as they wake up. Thank you for getting us here safe. Captain, you are a child of the universe. No less than a tree or a star. You deserve to be here. And whether or not it's clear to you, no doubt. The universe is playing out as it should. Captain. Please report to your assigned drop pod. Oh, okay. Machines better type being appeased. Place on the fire. Computer, let's get those blast shields open. The trip was smooth. Just a few rocks, a couple cosmic rays. Nothing the computer couldn't handle on its own. Acknowledged. All systems are fully operational. All crew accounted for. Disembarkation underway. She is a beauty, isn't she, Captain? The long range scans did not do her justice. Perfect in almost every way. We'll still have to do top to bottom scans once we're down on the surface, but we're moving equipment as fast as we can. The crew is eager to get off the ship and onto solid ground. I think you can understand the sentiment. And uh, thank you for uh, not giving up on me. Just thank you. Course buddy. Course buddy. Oh, what a good ending there. I am sure there are others. interesting that is interesting all right everybody well i think i'm gonna end the stream there for tonight um again sorry i wasn't streaming yesterday but i it was the creator clash i bought a ticket and you know what wouldn't have missed it for the world it was an absolute blast um i have no idea if they're gonna be like <clears throat> putting it out there anywhere 
but I'm sure at this point, like, people will be doing reviews and clips and stuff of that. So if you missed the Creator Clash, go look it up uh, on YouTube, I'm guessing. I'm sure there will be a lot out there. I'm sure a lot of people on Twitch are, are talking about it. So uh, if you're interested in uh, in that at all. Um, uh, well, uh, yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for today. Um, thanks for stopping by if you did. Uh, uh, still a, a little over halfway to uh, getting 50 followers. So um, that's pretty neat been having some pretty steady growth um which is neat <laughs> um let's see i'm uh trying to set up a raid uh stream manager uh but yeah that'll um that'll be it for tonight guys um uh the vod of the stream will be up on youtube tomorrow by 10 a.m uh and then uh as usual um, we'll be streaming tomorrow night, uh, also at, uh, starting at 6 p.m. Central Time. I have no idea what we'll be doing. Hopefully that'll actually be the Dead Space stream. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So, um, you guys have a good night. I'm gonna see if there's anyone to raid. Nope. All right. Never mind. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for showing up. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.